Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this dynamic RGB text reveal animation in After Effects. All this without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our text. So let's go to composition and this one I'm going to call this text. Rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now it's completely up to you. You can also use text or a logo if you want. So for this one, I'm going to use the text. So let's create one with the help of text tool. So you can just type, click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion and I'm using this Montserrat black font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. Now, let me just quickly select this and let's align it to the center of this composition. If you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Let's make its anchor point in the center. So in order to do that, just select the text layer, hold down the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. So now you can see that the anchor point is in the center. Now we can probably select this, press S and I'm going to just scale this down a little bit just like this so once you're done with this we are going to add a little bit of slant to this so in order to do that you can just open up the text properties and go under animate and from here we are going to click on skew now you can change the skew angle something like this to whatever you want for this one i'm going to set this to something like 10 now we can probably select this press r and i'm going to just rotate it a little bit so i'm going to set this to negative 10 so that we have this text at an angle now we can select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and we can create one more copy and let's place it at the bottom. On this one, I'm going to type graphics, but it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. Now let's select both of them and I'm going to just place them in the middle somewhere around here. Perfect. So once you're done with this, we can go back to the main composition. Now let's drag our text into this, something like that. So first we are going to create a simple zooming animation for that. I'm going to make this into 3d by clicking over here. And after that, we can select this. Let's press P and now I'm going to add a keyframe for position just like this. Now we can probably zoom in and I'm going to move this keyframe to somewhere around one second. And in the beginning, I want this to be really close to the camera. So for that, I'm going to move the Z space and I'm going to set this to really high something like this. And let's do this even further so that the text is really outside the frame just like this so if i play back here you can see that the text comes up and once you are done with this we can probably select the keyframes then you can press f9 or you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease to make the nice ease now we can select both the keyframes and let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph not the value graph now let's change the graph and I'm going to make it look something like this. So let's grab this handle to the left side. Perfect. So if I play back here, you can see we have this very nice animation. Now, once you're done with this, we are going to create a bunch of different cutouts of this. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and let's select the rectangle tool we are, because we are going to create mask for different positions. So first make sure that this layer is selected. And after you have selected the rectangle tool, if you click and drag you can see that it will start creating a mask something like this so it's completely up to you you can just create however you want once you're done with this we can select this layer let's press ctrl d to duplicate this now we are going to change the mask of this layer so in order to do that just select the selection tool now you can click one of these endpoints and you can hold down the shift key and select the other one now you can move these points wherever you want you can hold down shift key to do it precisely now you can also move this to the top. So just hold down the shift key to select multiple points. Now you can see that we have make these two visible. Now in the same way, we can do the rest of the text as well. So let's select this, press control D. Now I'm going to select the top two points just like this. Now I'm going to just move them to the bottom so that we have this text over here. Now once you're done with this, let's select this, press control D. And on this one, let's select these two endpoints and I'm going to just do it to the opposite side so that we have the full text revealed. So now if I play back here, you can see that everything is coming together. So now we can do, we can add a little bit of delay. So let's zoom in. And after that, you can just add a little bit of delay and let's add one frame of delay. Now, if I play back here, you can see that everything is coming like this. We can also add a little bit of delay. Let's move them two frames apart just like this 
So here you can see we have this very nice reveal. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. So let's pick a point where all of this has occurred somewhere around here. So at this point, I'm going to just drag my text something like this. Now let's make this 3D. And once we have everything at position, let's select this one and press U. So at this point, we have everything lined up so i'm going to just place it over here now we don't need to see all of these layers at the bottom so i'm going to select all of them now you can hold down the alt key and press the right square bracket to trim everything let's zoom in and i'm going to just trim it something like that so here you can see we have this animation and after that we have the original text so we are going to add some animation to this text but before that we need a camera because we are going to make some 3d movements for that i'm going to go to layer new and let's add a camera just click on OK. I'm using this 30mm and 50mm focal length. Just click on OK. Now let's create one null object. So right click, just go to and let's add a null object. Make sure that this is 3D as well. Now I'm going to select the camera and let's parent it to the null so that we can control the camera using this null point. Once you're done with this, we are going to select the text and I'm going to create five different copies of it. So we have this one. So I'm going to press Ctrl D to create four copies so now you can see we have these four copies and i'm going to select the middle one and i'm going to quickly change its color so that we can distinguish between them now i'm going to select all of these layers these five layers which we just created and let's press p for position now we can add a keyframe for the position of all of these so let's add a keyframe something like this we can probably hide this one so once you're done with this let's move to somewhere around here now I'm going to select the top layer and I'm going to set it C position to 1000 and I'm going to select the bottom one which is right below it and I'm going to set this to 500 and this one we will leave it at 0 and this one I'm going to set this at negative 500 and this one I'm going to set this to negative 1000. So here you can see we have this sort of thing and in order to make this visible what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the null object and let's press R and I'm going to add keyframes to all the rotation keyframes now after that I'm going to just move the indicator to this point where we have all the text now you can select the null object and you can start rotating it to give it a really nice angle but this is something that's completely up to you you can just move it however you want let's do it something like that now we can move a couple of frames ahead and we can just simply copy and paste these and let's do the same thing with these position keyframes as well. So just copy paste so that everything goes back to its original position. So here you can see everything goes back to its original position. Now if I play back, this is something what we have created so far. Now we can add some easing to them. So we don't need these Z keyframes. So I'm going to just simply disable this. After that, we are going to select everything. Then you can press F9. Let's go to the graph and we are going to tweak the graph and let's zoom in. So I'm going to just select this from the middle and I'm going to move everything to the left side and let's do the same thing. And on this one, I'm going to move it to the right side, just like this. So if I play back here, we have created this. So you can see that everything goes out and then it comes back. Now, if you want, you can just simply select everything and you can just move them closer. So hold down the alt key and you can just decrease the distance between them. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this little bit faster animation. So once we're done with this, we are ready to add a little bit of depth of field. So in order to do that, just select the camera layer and you can press double A on your keyboard or A twice. After that, enable the depth of field. Now I'm going to quickly select the aperture and I'm going to increase it quite a bit so that we have this depth of field. Now I'm going to add a keyframe for the aperture. So let's add a keyframe over here. And in the beginning, I'm going to just set this value to zero. So here you can see that our aperture will start increasing just like this. Now at this point, if you want, you can just play around with the focus distance. You can make whatever text you want in the focus. So for example, if I decrease this, you can see that now this one is in focus. But if you want to make any of other text, then you can just play around with the focus distance and you can make anything come in focus just like this. So for this one, I'm going to set it over here. Let's go to this point where our animation stops and I'm going to set the aperture back to zero so that everything is in focus. So if I play back here, you can see we have created this animation 
just like this so once we're done with this our last step is to add some rgb look to this so in order to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select everything by pressing a then press u to collapse everything just like this now i'm going to select everything now you can right click and let's go to and select pre-compose and i'm going to call this one animation just click on ok so we have this pre-composition now i'm going to create three copies of it so we have one two three by pressing ctrl d now on each of these i'm going to apply an effect called shift channel so let's search for shift channel and let's drag it on to the top one and on this one i'm going to turn everything off something like this and make sure that the red channel is set to red and now we can probably copy this and just paste it over here and on this one i'm going to turn the red off and enable the green on and on the last one let's paste it i'm going to turn off the red just make sure that blue is turned on so all of these layers have their respective color turned on and rest of them are off so once we're done with this we can probably select everything now you can go under the modes and i'm going to set this to add so you can see that it will turn everything to white and now in order to add some distortion what we can do is we can just simply zoom in now to give them rgb look what i'm going to do is i'm going to just offset these layers by one frame so let's select the top one and let's offset it by one frame as well so now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice rgb look and at last we have our text so this is how you can create these kind of dynamic rgb animation and the best thing is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just go inside the text com and you can type whatever you want and rest of the things will remain same so you can just see that all, all of the animations are already applied and you can use it however you want you can also import any logo in this composition and rest of the things will remain same so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one